So recently, I've been diving into some of my favorite Bethesda titles, such as Skyrim and Fallout 4, ultimately getting me more excited and more ready for Starfield coming up in the very near future. And today we're jumping into Skyrim, where I took on the challenge to beat the game with only shouts. And of course, if I'm going to be shouting the whole time, it only makes sense to roleplay as a Karen searching for the manager dragon. Get that smirk off your face! I want to speak to your manager! Okay. So anyways, let's get into this. Say it. Hey, you. Finally awake. Booting up into the character creator, after giving myself the whitest skin and a bob haircut, we jumped into the game. And after almost getting our head cut off, probably just for yelling at someone, we make our way through this camp and finally get our bonds cut. I then sat back, let Rayloff kill off all the enemies, grabbed the key off the guard, and proceeded to just sprint my way through this entire dungeon. Now here came the really interesting and complicated start to this run. You see, if I'm only allowed to kill with shouts, how am I supposed to get the shout in the first place? Because in order to use shouts, you have to not only find the word on a wall, you also have to kill a dragon. And so, after chatting with you guys, I decided to head straight for Bleak Falls Barrow and take on this dungeon. And by take on the dungeon, I mean I sprinted through the whole thing. Over here. Oh, it's coming yeah. loose. I can feel it. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, shoot. Rat, please. Nice, okay. Go, go, stand on the trap, dude. Okay, golden claw. <laughs> I love it. Bear. Moth. Owl? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> How nice of him. Okay, where's a trap? I need some sort of trap if I'm gonna kill this dude, because I need to get the dragon stone from him. Or the axe's trap, right. Axe's trap would be good. This should be interesting. Okay. This way, big guy. Rude. Come on. Need to like stay the right distance. Yeah. Hey, would you stop? <laughs> Look at his waddle. <laughs> You're not gonna catch me. Is that the manager? <laughs> manager, this way. <laughs> or is this like a bad employee that we're we're just trying to yell at? Or is this the battle of the Karens because he's also shouting? <laughs> okay, we need to deal with these guys first. Nice. Good stuff. That went way better than I expected. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And so, with Dragonstone in hand, I make my way to Whiterun. With having read the first word of Unrelenting Force, the only thing missing in this equation is just a Dragon Soul. So, taking the Dragonstone to Whiterun allows me to start the main quest line, where suddenly a dragon decides to attack this watchtower. Here he comes again. Uh, we're just gonna sit inside here. Oh, hey. You doing good? Yeah. Ow. Well, well. Another maggot to squash beneath my boots. <laughs> Get out there. Go put in some work, bro. Stop just sitting back here, okay? Dang. That guy got sniped. Oh, see ya, dude. <laughs> you got it, Irileth. Nice! Let's go, you're a lad. Karen, she's growing stronger. <laughs> oh no, what will we do? Oof. Nice. Now, although I have my first shout, it really isn't that good. If you've ever used the first word of Unrelenting Force, it just kind of makes people stumble a little bit and does a fraction of damage. And so, after getting shouted at by the Greybeards, I make my way to High Hrothgar to get more words and learn more from them. They teach me the second word of Unrelenting Force, as well as one of my favorites, Whirlwind Sprint. This also helps me to progress the main questline, getting closer to the end goal of facing down the Manager Dragon. 
after which I hire a carriage to take me to solitude, allowing me to then grab this necklace off of this guy. You see, Skyrim Vanilla, there's only two items in the game that allow you to reduce your shout cooldown time. One is praying to the Shrine of Talos, and the other is wearing the Amulet of Talos. Both reduce shout cooldown time by 20%, which is going to be extremely helpful so Karen can get some extra shouts in. And so before jumping back into the main quest, I really need a shout that's going to help me deal some damage. And so I make my way to the Skyborn Altar to grab the shout. And, uh, what shout is this? I feel like this is like a part of Frost Breath or something. Yeah, Frost Breath. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. Up. Yep. All right. We have no healing potions. This is bad. Hey, dragon. You want to come down to this uh, this place down here? There's a lot of trolls. I'm sure would love to meet you. Okay, he's attacking them. Good, good, good. Get him, troll, get him. Nice, nice. This is good. Oh, uh, ooh. <laughs> Did he kill one yet? No, I think they're all regenerating. I think they're good. Don't run away. Come on. Nice. Look at them all waddling over. Go get him. <laughs> Dang, look at his health go. Let's go. Another dragon down. Yeah, I ain't dealing with these guys. Frost trolls are crazy. With everything seemingly just working out for me, I get this shout unlock and make my way to retrieve the horn for the Greybeards. Easy. Ooh. Ooh, yo, whoa, yep, we're good. All right, what's our, what's our Karen phrase here? Cool down? You need to cool off. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, there we go. I got like a full proc that time. Wow. Okay, this is this is worth it. Trying to line them up. What? Ah, I didn't hit him. Stop reviving stuff. Ah, you're so annoying. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let's take some cold resist. Okay. All right. That barely worked. But we survived. We're good. Okay, one down. And yeah, it makes sense. It's not too bad, though. Two shouts. Oh, we're restless. Ooh. <laughs> Just keep running around this pillar. Keep jumping over this wall that they can't seem to navigate around. <laughs> Classic video game stuff. You good? I mean... I mean, <laughs> I'll take it. What, you want a piece of this, huh? You want a piece of Karen? Nice, okay. Another restless, ugh, so tanky. I think we'll just keep, uh, you know, just keep using this if we need to. <laughs> I don't know why it's so satisfying just watching them. Ooh. He's like, that's not working. I'm out of here. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to face Karen. <laughs> nice, got all three. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Look at the health bar melt. Oh no, the horn isn't here. Excuse me, who left this here? 
I need to speak to the manager. With this amazingly unforeseen circumstance, I make my way to meet up with Delphine, where she wants to test my skills to see if I truly am a dragonborn. And so we go after where there is a report of a dragon, and we come face to face yet again with the manager dragon. Get Frost Breath ready. Excuse me, dragon manager. I need to have a word with you. Oh no, please don't. Get him, Delphine. Get him. No, <laughs> I didn't have any more potions. <laughs> this feels like our first like real battle. No, I pressed the wrong. I brought up my quick menu instead of my uh, actual menu. Oh, he's low. Let's go, Delphine. Get him. Dang. Let's go. Clutch. Coming in clutch there. Sorry I wasn't here for that. I kind of had to survive, you know? With Delphine finally deciding we are a Dragonborn, I know that there is another wall here with a shout very nearby that also has a dragon at it. And I want to see once again if I can maybe lure this dragon somewhere and, you know, get a free soul. Turns out there's a giant camp right next to this area, so I'm able to then lure the dragon over here and just kind of let them fight it out. This word also happened to be the second word for the frost shout, allowing me to do a little extra damage if I want to do so. I then make my way to High Hrothgar to meet with the Greybeards once again, and finally learn the final word of unrelenting force. It's at this point I decide I not only want to finish off the Frost Shout getting all three words, but I also would like to just grab a couple others just to have in my back pocket in case we come across a dragon and can get a soul from it. There we go. <laughs> Did we find upper management? <laughs> Is their AI just not working yet because I haven't passed the right trigger? Oh, that was the trigger. Oh, shoot. I just flicked levers and I, I think I got it. <laughs> Maybe we can use the rocks that are here. Yes, the rocks. I'll oh, take it. <laughs> this guy? This guy. Nice. Oh, I didn't get him. So annoying. So this is probably gonna be like a. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> Where's the shout? Where's the shout? I want out. I want out. Please, 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 please. Okay. Nice. There it is. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of you guys. Anytime you get a named one... Oh, bro. <laughs> He's kind of sliding up here. Anytime you get a named one... That's like, it's a Death Lord and it's named... Oh my gosh. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Oh, oh gosh. I'm going back. <laughs> let's, let's finish this off, huh? Oh gosh, it's going to take forever to recharge, but... Okay. That was successful, though. We got it. We're good. With feeling a little more prepped, I decided to make my way to the Thalmor Embassy. And so, after making our way into this party, convincing this guy to make a ruckus, and Melbourne letting us into some of the back areas, we start looking for the manager. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, I'm probably dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay. We got a quick save there. No. <laughs> oh, no. I got executed. Hmm. We got to take care of these guys somehow. Oh, 
Pretty good. Is he hiding? Okay, shout's basically recovered. He's hiding. Enough. Oh. Full. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. Uh. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Slowly. <laughs> Surrender immediately. We're just gonna kill him anyway, though. Full Ooh, sorry, Melbourne. I killed Melbourne. <laughs> Let's see how much damage is just the base. Yeah, see, I feel like the just the tap of this, because of how fast it refreshes, will actually be better. There we go. I'm out of here. I ain't dealing with this troll. Finding out this information on a man named Esburn, I decided to just beeline it through the ratways, making it to Esburn, and then convincing him with my strong words, which I'm surprised any Karen can do, to come help us take down the dragons. Delphine, Esburn, and I then have a conversation and talk about this wall called Alduin's Wall. And so, picking up my stream the next day, we all make it to this Forsworn encampment, and with the two extra helping hands, this isn't that bad. With the encampment cleared out, we make our way to Alduin's Wall. I almost softlock my game trying to skip conversations by running into Esburn. And then we find out about the shout, call for the manager. And so to learn more about this shout, I make my way to High Hrothgar once again to meet up with the Greybeards. They give me the shout, clear skies, and they tell me their manager lives on top of the mountain. With clear skies pushing my way to the top of the mountain, I finally get to meet with the manager Parthenax. And he tells me not only where I can find this shout, but also he teaches me another shout, Fire Breath. With this wrapped up, feeling that Karen doesn't have quite the aggressive vocabulary she deserves, I decide to start hunting shouts once again. And start hunting probably one of the most powerful ones, Call Storm. Okay, that's, that's not bad. We're not doing bad damage. Oh, wow. Okay. You're helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, dude. Okay, cool. She can't die. Nice. Thanks, lady. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Oh, did I kill her? <laughs> nice. Let's go, lady. Let's move on. Give it. Give it to me. Now, since Frost Breath as well as Fire Breath are some of the fastest cooling down shouts, they really are just the best arsenal of shouts, allowing me to stay mobile, shout, pretty often and deal decent amount of damage, so I really want to finish off these words. Some of the words though are locked behind quest lines, such as ones involving the companions, so I start just hunting down quest lines, searching for more words to fill these out. Feeling like I have a decent amount of shouts under my belt, I decide it's time to finally go grab the dragon scroll. And so after borrowing the lexicon from this guy, I proceed to try to clip through this elevator once again, saying that Karen would use the back door, not the correct door to get what she wants. But for some reason, I'm having some major, major issues with this glitch. In my previous Skyrim run, where I roleplayed as Palpatine, I was able to do this glitch pretty much my second try. It was really easy, but for some reason, it just wouldn't work today. I don't know if it's because I had a couple mods that were helping the game look visually different, if they were changing collision in any sort of way, but I just couldn't get it to work no matter what I tried. But then suddenly it, you know, decided to, uh, to, uh, work? Yep, it worked. And so at the bottom of the elevator, solve this stupid puzzle, grab the dragon scroll, take it to the top of the mountain, and begin to learn the shout, 
call the manager. And then we get into the fight with the manager dragon. And then I think I am going to use storm call. That might be a bad decision. We'll find out, huh? Is it striking Parthenax? Lightning, please. Huh. Yeah, I don't think this is working. Okay, I'm gonna save you guys a lot of time here. This fight, from the second it started to the completion, took close to 40 minutes for me to beat. It was probably one of the most tedious fights I think I've ever done in this game. I started by calling the manager, letting him land, and was hoping that the Greybeard manager would chip in and just start wailing on him. Turns out it didn't take long for the dragon manager to hurt the Greybeard manager to the point where he literally wouldn't do anything the entire rest of this combat segment. And so I started experimenting with shouts. I tried using Call Storm to let it just deal damage to him while he was flying. Turns out this shout doesn't like to hit dragons when they're flying, only when they're on the ground, which meant I had to use Dragon Rend first to put him on the ground. And of course, with my shouts and cooldown, there's no way to use the shout called the manager to get him to land on the ground so he could get struck by lightning. And so the best solution I came up with was to use the shout to force him to land, immediately swap to Frost Breath, hit him with Frost Breath, and then just sit and wait for the cooldown once again. He would fly away, I would hit him with Dragon Rend, and then hit him with Frost Breath once again. Rinse and repeat. After finally getting him to about half health, the manager dragon decided to finally land and stay on the ground. I then used Call Storm to do insane damage because the shout would actually target him because he was on the ground. Ooh, good hit, good hit. Come on, Storm, do your work. Ooh, one more, one more, come on. We did it. <laughs> oh, now you're okay, Parthenax. Get the frick out of here, bro. Gosh. Finally, with all that wrapped up, I decided to call it for the day because I was just annoyed for having fought Alduin for literally 40 minutes straight. I mean, sorry, the manager dragon. Don't want to get you guys mixed up here. And so picking up the stream the next day, I decided I wanted things to go a little different. And so after purchasing four more amulets of Talos, I decided to continue with the companion's quest line where we went and took on a bunch of, I think, Johnny Silverhand's like groupies or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, after clearing out this camp, they then give us the ability to become a werewolf. And so transforming as I talk to my companion, I open up the menus in a weird way so I can perform a certain glitch, but the glitch requires me to move the amulet of Talos into my companion's inventory. However, you remember how the first amulet of Talos I picked up was off of that guy's body? Turns out that was a part of a quest line, and so this is locked until I can figure out the issue. And so with chat's help, as well as me looking things up on my own, we try to solve this issue. And to be real, I felt like I was running around like a chicken with his head cut off because, oh my gosh, this quest just didn't seem to like work or function or do things. It just never gave me any sort of resolution. It never even gave me like an official quest marker. Anyways, after solving the issue where I can finally trade this necklace with my companion, I then once again transform as I interact with conversation. And after giving all five of the amulets to my companion, I then equip them from her inventory. So I have five equipped at the same time, giving me yes. the infinite shout of a true Karen. Fuck you! And so now that I am maximum Karen, I decide to continue with the main quest line, where in order to find where Alduin is, we have to trap a dragon. But to trap a dragon, there needs to be a temporary truce from a war that's going on. And so we have to sit in probably the most boring part of Skyrim ever created, which is sitting in a political conversation that you really shouldn't have any say in, but for some reason you do. But you know what? Karen probably relished in the idea of controlling this entire country's existence. With the truce settled, we then make our way into Dragon's Reach and capture this dragon, and begin our final pursuit of Alduin. 
Let's go. I'm coming for you, Alduin. Full Karen mode activated. Let's call in the storm. <laughs> Karen at maximum potential. <laughs> I feel like it's better just to like spam it. <laughs> You're all going down. Nice. Uh, let's finish off Fire Breath. I love how they all just say zero now. <laughs> oh, they're vanishing now with the full shout. This is sick. Karen at maximum overload. You literally can't break this. You, ugh, fine, fine game, fine. So dumb. Ooh, wait, where's the, where's, okay, you have it. Is this it? The final shout. There we go. We good to go. Let's go fight this dragon priest, wherever he is. Sorry, I should have cast the boy. There we go. Oh, let's go. Another dragon soul for me, let's go. Oh, yo, an elder dragon? That's, that's actually scary. Oh, uh, hold up. I don't have my <laughs> restoration equipped. Wait, where's the... Dragon Priest. Did I kill him with my lightning before I even got up here? So the staff stayed? Alright, I guess we'll move on. <laughs> That's so funny. Shut up, dude. I don't care. Hi, Alduin. <laughs> the power of Karen. Okay, cool. Thanks, bro. Bye. Let's go, Karen. Do I have to stay with these guys? I don't think I do. Can I just go? I know there's a way to, like, get them to not have to have their full conversation, but... Where'd they go? Are they out there now, actually? Did I glitch on my game? Oh, he's here. They're here. Okay, good. Alright, we're good. The mighty Karen. Amongst the dragonborn. <laughs> nice. There we go. And then we're going uh, storm call. Dragon rend. Make sure he stays. Fire breath. It's a Karen moment. Oh, did I knock them all out? <laughs> it's okay. Karen will solo this guy.
We did it. <laughs> Karen for the win. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry, I can't hear a word you're saying. No? I love the like chants in this game. They always sound so off and awkward and weird. All right, take me back. We did it, guys. Beat the game with only shouts. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculous video. I had a lot of fun streaming it and recording it with you guys. Like I said, I'm mostly doing this because I'm getting ready for Starfield. I plan on making Starfield a staple on my channel. I want to make a lot of content about that game because I just absolutely love Bethesda titles and what they do, and I really do think Starfield's going to be a great game. If you want to check out my other Skyrim run where I beat the game as Chancellor Palpatine, I'll put a link in the description for you. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.